Good evening to all of you. So here we have given the gate examination in English literature and I am really impressed by the question paper especially from the section B which is reasoning and comprehension. All of my rough sheets were spent well enough in order to solve the passages and decode the options. I firmly believe that the rough sheets are given to the students to decode these passages from reasoning and comprehension. By writing the minute details of the passages that are given in the questions one can come close to the right option. I spent my maximum amount of time in solving section A and section B. And without questioning section B was quite difficult as compared to section A and section C. General aptitude was tricky but not time consuming as you have been provided with the virtual calculator on the top of your screen. There was a question like P has ducks, hens and goats in such and such ratio. On the other hand Q has ducks, hens and goats in such and such ratio. What will be the total number if Q sells all his ducks, hens and goats to P? The answer was 10 ratio, 21 ratio something. I don't exactly recall the last digit so if you have picked 10 ratio 21 then you are right. Another question was P, Q, R, S, T were sitting in a row in no particular order. If Q and R have a space between them and Q cannot sit adjacent to S then what will be the possible combinations? So this question was from permutation and combination that you might have studied in your 10th standard. But then again you don't really need to apply any formula but your logic. So the answer of this question was 16. I know some students have marked 4 as the right option. But in reality if you deep dive in this question you will get the answer 16. Another question question was from puzzle and data interpretation. The question was that there are 7 companies C1, C2, C3 up to C7 and total number of employees working here are 10,000. Among all these 10,000 officers, some officers hold MBA degree while some doesn't. So the question was how many officers hold MBA degree in C2 and C5. I don't exactly remember the right option but I think it was 1900. I am not sure but let me know in the comments below if I am right or wrong. So section B reasoning and comprehension was difficult but section A general aptitude was easy. So coming on to section C of English literature for the very first time I really like reading the question paper. Not because it was easy or difficult but because unlike net examination they have not asked you the minor characters from Jane Austen or Charles Dickens. These questions tested your concepts rather than your memory. For instance they have not asked you who has written the essay can Subbarton speak. Instead they have asked you the concept behind writing this essay. If you have read this essay well enough you will be able to understand what the question is talking about. So Gayatri Spivak has talked about that when someone else outside the subaltern group speaks for this group then instead of generating the discourse of subaltern group he forms a discourse for himself. She has given the example of Sati. Again this example of Sati requires a little more explanation which I cannot cover in this particular video. A few questions were directly asked from the topics that we have discussed in IIT mock test. If you have watched that video of mock test solutions and explanation you could have easily figured out two to three questions in this particular particular exam. In our mock test we have talked about Karuku, Modest Proposal by Jonathan Swift, Henry James, Stream of Consciousness, Dalit Panthers like Namdeo Dasal and a few more questions that are again repeated in this exam. So coming back one mark question was quite easy. For example they have asked you questions from Canterbury Tales or John Milton's Aeropagitica where this work is written against suppression done by the England on freedom of speech and print. There was a question from Charles Dickens Tale of Two Cities and another work which is of African writer Half a yellow sun. The background of all these novels have political uprising. I don't know why they have asked Aristotle Poetics in two mark question. Let me know in the comments below if I pick the right option which is Aristotle Poetics is written in support of mimesis. The question that was asked from translation studies was logical. They had asked you the questions from Polo Coelho's translations. The same way they have asked you in IIT mock test that what is the meaning of untranslable. Such questions does not require any memory but logic. There was a question from Jane Eyre and the pen name of the author was also asked. Asked. So it was also an easy question. No doubt the questions were easy but multiple select questions made it difficult. It is really difficult to pick the right options from multiple select questions. One option wrong and we will not even get the marks for choosing the right option. I attempted 53 questions out of 65 questions and in multiple select questions I did some blind shots and took risk. Let's see how the result will go. The result will declare around 28th of Feb and now let's wait for the results. How was your exam? Was it tough or you too think that it was easy or moderate? Let me know in the comments below. I make sure to resolve all your query in the comments below. That's it for this video. Thank you.